call me booby, hit the crib, the dude, the die. Ooh. So let's talk about Bird Box. Wait, I forgot I scrapped that idea. Never mind. Um, we are going to be late. Fucking hate brunch. Wait, was that a half-naked girl, drugs, and a relatable statement in the first 20 seconds of the movie? Damn, son, where'd you find this? We don't know what we're having yet, babe. Can I do something before you leave? Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget, we also need to buy a, um, a crib. Aren't those expensive? Yeah. We also need baby socks, onesies, bibs, bottles, diapers, wipes, baby shampoo. You've been lotion, gone for so long. I'm running out of time. Bed sheets. I need a sponsor. Call me a sponsor. I need a sponsor, sponsor, to bring me back. This video is sponsored by Vikings, War of Clans. Inspired by the greatest strategy games of the 90s only to surpass them. Starcraft, do you have more than 20 million online players? I didn't think so. All you young kids with your iPads and your jewels, this is the game of your era. You need all the resources you can get in this game so it's no mercy for your opponents. Can't handle the heat alone? Forge an alliance then, you wimp. You're lucky they even give you that option. Think you're top gun? Compete in live events. But don't choke. Help support my channel by downloading Vikings War of Clans for free from my link in the description box. And when you use my link, you get a bonus of 200 gold coins and a protective shield. And when you need a carry, Look me up under Mr. Gigi. Guys, help support me, help support the channel. It's one click, that's all it takes. I'm about to 14 Cameras is a horror movie from 2018, and the plot is simple. There's a creepy guy who rents out properties where he has spy cameras installed. Or as the official description says, the lascivious owner has set up, I'm adding lascivious to my vocabulary ASAP, by the way, a series of spy cams throughout the house documenting their most intimate moments and live streaming them to the dark web. The dark web, huh? I haven't been there in years. Number 14. Huh. This guy looks like a burnt salamander. This villain is the Achilles heel of this movie, and I will explain why heavily in the review. In the very few positive reviews that this movie has, it suffers from a problem that Cam had as well. That being people overvaluing the film because it's a conversation starter. I mean, the movie immediately tries to break the border between film and reality by starting the film with a statistic on spy cameras. And I feel like with that direction, the film is heavily dependent on the viewer being creeped out by the idea of being watched. But if the viewer is not afraid of that and the movie fails to produce the scares and the villain looks like Bruce Willis got stuck in a radiation chamber, you end up with a review from me. The movie begins by showing a couple on vacation while Gerald, our villain's name is Gerald, watches from his spy cams. There's one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom, and even one underneath a leaf. So voyeurism aside, old Gerald likes to sneak into the properties when he sees that the guests have left for whatever reason. He'll go in there, sniff some bottoms, and shove your toothbrush in his mouth. The power of crest. By the way, I wanna make this clear right now. I have no real beef with this actor. I think it's far from easy to pull off a role like this. And I'm sure he's going off the direction given to him, but he is just so damn cartoonish. It's laughable. Instead of giving me goosebumps, he's giving me a goosebumps vibe. Like he was a villain from season one. The whole scene is shot like this, by the way, because it's art, peasant. Is that my toothbrush? Yeah, mine fell on the ground. Gross, you can't just use my toothbrush. What are you nuts? Why not? Because that's gross. It's mine. Are you sh like, if I were to... What? Don't. <sighs> oh, what did you do to this thing? The bristle barely tickled your tooth. Did you drop it in the toilet or something? 
It tastes like shit. Tastes like shit? Should probably smell like it too. Looks like the only thing you're smelling is the power of Crest. My shitty teeth and me. Now, were you guys not content with the couple's acting in the opening scene? <laughs> Did you drop it in the toilet or something? Well, I got good news for you. They're never shown again. Not even a follow-up. They don't even have fucking names in the movie. This is Pixie Chick, and this is Hipster Dude. It's a good start. Gerald enters another one of his properties and begins to install more cameras, which never really made sense to me. You would think the cameras he has installed already are sufficient, but instead he would rather risk his operations by installing more in the unknown time period that the guest is gone. By the way, his mouth is always like this. Do you got a stuffy nose? Are you constantly amazed by something? Yeah, this is gross, but come on, let him drink some milk. His mouth's probably hella dry from never closing it. He's a thirsty boy. You gonna grow up to be big and strong. Then the guest returns unexpectedly, even though it's a pretty high chance that they were gonna return while he was there because he was taking his sweet ass time. Okay, okay. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Bitch! Oh, looks like it's feeding time for Buster. I know you weigh 80 pounds and all, but here's a little sippy cup of kibble. Is that why he has a bandana? So he can stick up other dogs for their food? Put the pedigree in the bag. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> he knows he's not supposed to make a sound for that type of thing, right? Murderers don't yell to surprise their victims. They just kill them. That's kind of frightening on its own. By the way, this scene drags on like a second too long. It should cut off like mid to late and yeah. then cut to the door. But instead they let him finish the yeah. which ends up just being more funny because now it just makes me think of the director during this scene. And action. Yeah. Cut. Gerald knocks the girl out, and to subdue the dog on the other side, he pours cough syrup underneath the door. And it works like a charm. Now we're introduced to the main family of this movie. The mother sits there browsing their vacation home on Airbnb, I, I mean vacay swap. Sweetheart, what do you think of this one? Come here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to rent from the Unabomber. What a weird reference. Unabomber? Who the fuck has thought of the Unabomber in the last decade? How dare you make fun of poor man stock image number 39. What do you think of this place? See yourself sitting poolside here for a couple weeks? I have to be poolside during my vacation? My parents fucking suck ass. You look like the guy from Trailer Park Boys with a severe case of mumps. The animal abuser wakes up, gently slides the duct tape off of her mouth and just yells instead of getting up and running. Aren't you fucking good at that? There is no way this man is stronger than you, even with duct tape on your hands. He can barely walk. He wibble wobbles everywhere. <sighs> is there an invisible leaf blower in front of your face? Stop doing that. Time little girls were asleep. You gotta be fucking kidding me. The kid does it too? Just a gaping family? That sounds weird. I swear these motherfuckers don't do shit all week. And the one day I wanna record, they're like, round the fucking troops! We're getting to work, let's do it! Why are you wet? Is that your first question? Why are you wet? Not why do you look like a founding father after a car accident? Or a wagon accident? Horse gone rogue? You walk like you're on the set of Thriller. But you look like you're on the set of Thriller. If this guy fucking slides and claps, I'm losing it. You know I'm bad! I'm bad! Where are you going? 
Well, you had two lines and they were fucking horrible. Where are you going? This movie doesn't seem to have a whole lot of structure. Uh, 20 minutes into it. There is a couple, a runner, a family, his son. I get what I'm being shown, but there's gotta be like a bigger picture coming soon, right? You would think the guy who could afford to rent out all these properties and purchase multiple spy cams wouldn't be driving Cousin Eddie's RV. Oh, that there, that, uh, that's an RV. But don't you go falling in love with it now. Because we're taking it with us when we leave here next month. <laughs> Stop it. There's Twitch streamers with better setups than this. Huh? Oh my god. What the heck? Oh uh, my god. What? Thanks to uh, Daft Times for the tier 2 sub. Hope you're liking the stream. Time to slay these pussies. Did you check the map on the site? Is that Anna Kendrick? There's no way they got Anna Kendrick. Nope. Not her. Her name is Chelsea Edmondson, and she will be getting a follow on the gram. No, we're gonna be stuck with my parents, playing board games all week. Sober. <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of nothing has a scent until you shove it in your mouth. Speaking of, uh, Danielle, Sarah's friend, wants to get laid this weekend because she thinks her boyfriend's cheating on her. No one's getting laid on this trip. Speak for yourself. What the fuck? Is he staring at us? <laughs> it's kind of cute. Oh, that's fucking gross. No. This is 100% the intro to like a stepsister threesome. So I've heard. Also, ladies, is this a thing? You cool with your bestie calling dibs on your little bro? Cause Sarah reacted pretty tame to that. Also, how old is this kid? How old are you? Can someone come check Ariadna Juarez over here? What are you watching? Well, they don't have cable or Wi-Fi, so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, aren't you a little cold, Danielle? I'm okay, thank you. Don't get the couch wet. Put on some clothes. Jeez, they really don't want me to fuck their 15 year old son. What hard asses. Now I've heard about spy kids, but this is just ridiculous. This is the angle you set the camera in, Gerald? What is this, amateur hour? Uh, is that L'Oreal? This is where shit gets crazy, guys, because now Gerald goes on to the dark web. What's poppin', what's slappin', Mr. GG, back in action. Wow, that's quite the internet you got there, Gerald. 14 live streams at once? Not to mention on the dark web of all places? I gotta say, if that's what you've been in all about this whole time, I don't blame you. Wait, am I looking at this right? Are her hands duct taped with a chain in between her wrist? Meaning she could just do this and kick you square in the face as soon as you open the truck? You look like Dick Cheney fucked Beedrill. So Gerald tosses Molly in his bomb shelter and we get this scene. It's going to be all right. I'm sorry, do we know you? Because that sound cue insinuates we do. Are you this girl? Are you pixie chick? Cause you don't look like her at all. This spy cam footage shit gets old fast by the way. So if you don't like it to begin with, the next 90 minutes are gonna suck. Kyle sneaks out to light up some dank and the girl who wants to bone him surprises him. Christ, you scared me. What you doing? I'm just hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, looks like you're smoking some drugs. Looks like you're smoking some drugs. Spoken like a true teenager. <laughs> Looks like you're smoking some drugs. What is this, a PSA from the 70s? You a narc from Kazakhstan? Looks like you're smoking some drugs. Do you know where I get? We have the drugs. That's not a Kazakhstan accent. I'm a fucking idiot. Don't look to me for accuracy in those types of jokes. <laughs> I'm just saying, cause I know people really give a shit when I don't say something exactly to what it's supposed to be. Like in my last video, I was like, yeah, she uh, pulled out a deagle. Then everyone was like, oh, is this a 1911? That's not a, it's not a, why would you ever think that's a deagle? It's not a deagle. Okay. <laughs> I don't 
know anything about guns. She didn't really teach me anything. If a gun looks like a deagle, I'm going to call it a deagle again. Because it's, it's funnier to call it a deagle instead of a 1911. I'm probably saying that wrong and triggering all the gun enthusiasts out there. Uh, 1911, it's the 1911. Danielle flirts with Kyle and he's just not picking up any of it. So he lets her leave while he just... What are you, too cool to fuck? Well, does he come down here? There's two of us. We can take him. No. No, you can't. Believe me. I'm not gonna believe you. No. This guy's built like ground beef. You telling me you can't double team him? He doesn't even carry a weapon. You're not the first girl to come down here. There was another. She tried to make a run for it and she never came back. Yeah because she's probably busy living. You guys ready to see the worst character ever written into a script? Because it's about that time. <laughs> What's up there, little guy? Going to sign for that? Some sort of a filmmaker or something? No. Third package this week. Video supplies. It's in the box. I'm sorry, is worrying about my packages in your fucking job description? Don't make me get quick and express on the phone to fire your ass. You smell that? What? I don't know, something funky in there, boss. Get it checked out. Smell that? I can't either. I don't know, all my senses have been off ever since I started chewing stone. Admittedly, not the best habit to have, but. So Levin, could you have made a worse mailman character? This is reminiscent of Michael Rappaport from Next Friday. Don't want any trouble with you. You don't have to send your uh, posse out here to do a 187 in my ass. But that movie was a comedy, so it was funny. This is a horror movie, so I'm angry. Who was it? Delivery guy. <sighs> Shouldn't you care, sir, considering it's yours? And since it appears like you're hiding it from your son? Time for another episode of Gerald walks around and does weird stuff via spy cam footage. Cause that's what the movie is. Why are you smelling things that are scented? Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Once again, like I mentioned, I don't get this guy's jig. I get wanting to stop by and sniff a few panties, believe me, but why take extra time and extra risk to install more cameras? I know 14's a little on the low end, but I think it should suffice. Look, the face makes sense again. I was pregnant when he kidnapped me. I thought I'd die in labor and thought I'd be it, but I didn't. Oh, so let me guess. The stupid hanging jaw is her son, right? Wait, so if that's the case, this guy's been a fairly good dad then, right? I mean, he took care of a baby that may or may not have been his, I presume. The kid looks healthy. He's got Fruit Loops and shit. Is he really that bad a guy? I don't know. Maybe he just needs to get a little grip on his fetish, that's it. Claire here finally plans for them to attack Gerald when he takes them up to bathe because that's when he's vulnerable. Junior over here is obnoxiously curious so he locks himself in the back of Gerald's truck to see where he goes. And right in the nick of time, Gerald's cameras are all out of commission. You look like Rumpelstiltskin's dying breath. It really doesn't matter. He goes to the house, flips a switch, and turns all the cameras back on. It's really just there so Junior can see what he's been doing the whole time. What the fuck, dude? What? Do you have something to say to me? You wanna hit this? You wanna hit this? <laughs> Do you have something to say to me? It is your boy, Maddie fucking smokes. Do you have a rock in your shoe? You trying to do the electro swing from Fortnite? 
So after he takes Claire up to bathe, he brings Molly, who has a little wooden shank in her waistline. Time to get those clothes on. This is for making my dog addicted to scissor. Wait, Molly. Molly. Where are you where are you going? Molly, he's not dead. Molly, why did why are you running? You didn't even put up a fight, Molly. You could have killed him right there. I really doubt you guys carved out these makeshift spears to just incapacitate him and run. I mean, wasn't it you that said, Then you have to kill him. We can do this. That's why your dumbass deserves what's about to happen. So she locks herself in the garage and threatens him to release Claire or she won't open the door. So Gerald starts to fill the garage with a gas. It works. And uh, Claire opens the garage for him. And we're not gonna mention how he just happened to have, you know, a gas chamber at the ready, but it works. And she opens the garage for him. You look like a deep fried battle toad. Molly talked all this shit just to go out like a bitch. You have an ex. You have a fighting chance. You just stood there like an extra from Gladiator. You should at least had it pulled back for like a here's Johnny situation, or at the very least fucking heave hold that motherfucker and tomahawked him in the chest. I don't know, something. Now your bitch ass is just barbecue sauce. Do you guys wanna see the most jumbled scene in every regard in this movie? Let me give you a quick context because I skipped these parts. Gerald stole the pair of panties that they bought on the dark web and when Danielle looked through her stuff, she thought it was Kyle who stole them. So now she thinks he's a nasty creep and Sarah is unaware of the situation. And by the way, nothing prompts this scene because the scene right before this one is this. It's 45 seconds long and probably for wanting to show you this, it's my fucking video's gonna get copyright claimed, but it's just bad acting, bad dialogue, bad direction in this weird order. Like this scene doesn't even need to be in the movie. I'm 100% building it up way too much. This is just funny to me, but just watch. Are you serious? What's going on? I didn't do anything. Do you want to tell her? Or do you want to leave us alone? I didn't fucking do anything. Dre! Dre! <laughs> I appreciate the tenacity, kid, but I think Danielle's a little out of your league. I don't have a fucking thing for Danielle. Oh. That's just pulling your leg. What was that about? Uh, nothing. I'll talk to her. See, I built it up too much. It wasn't that funny. It's just, it's so, so bad. Yo, am I bugging or is this guy actually kind of jacked? Speaking of bugs. I don't want to stay here tonight. Order a pizza, hit the pool, it'll be fun. We're not hanging out with him. Can your mother and I just have one night out by ourselves? He's not coming with us. I like that. That was funny. That's been the best part of this movie. So Gerald is streaming on the dark web again and someone hops in the chat asking for a price on the girl. He offers 100K, but Gerald repeats that she's not for sale. Then the dark webian offers anybody in chat 10K for the address. Gerald gets frustrated and tries to delete the comments, but then someone takes up that offer for the 100K to kidnap the girl. Then someone else leaks the address before Gerald has a chance to block every individual in the chat, even though he could have just ended the stream. And what do you know, the dark web does doesn't fuck around. Oh my god! It's a ninja! Fuck you save me, little shit. <laughs> you did not just use that sound effect. Is this a bait? Listen to that sound again. <laughs> That's the same sound that CinemaSins uses in their videos. I feel like this is a bait now. Danielle? Danielle? Two times? This is 100% a bait. You fuckers never thought this was a good movie. You were just trying to get covered by CinemaSins to help them market your fucking shitty fi- 
Oh my god, and you fuckers got me too. Marketing your stupid fucking... Oh my god. Hashtag me too. Well, I might as well fucking finish the film. Anyways. Hey! <laughs> That's not a taser. <laughs> that looks like a mini strobe light. Dance battle to the death! What kind of plan was this by this guy anyway? You were gonna kidnap the girl, then what? First of all, the guy didn't even clarify which girl he wanted. We can take them both? Drop her off to this random person who probably doesn't even live by you? Was he gonna pick her up? Were you gonna ship her? Through Quicken Express? You a dark web guy or something? What the fuck? How long, is it, how long does it take to empty out two dumpsters? There's two dumpsters in front of the fucking building. Two. This is the third package I've delivered this week. This is the third package. <laughs> fuck the skit. Who needs that skit? It wasn't even that funny. I don't need it. You you guys got it. You guys, it's all good. So is, is the garbage looking good from up here? So instead of taking the girl, Ninja takes a second to marvel at his kidnapping when Gerald fucks his shit up. And the girls are like, yay, my hero. But then Gerald insinuates he's not gonna help the girls because Sarah saw his face, even though they don't even know who he is or that he's a bad person. He could literally just leave at this point and not be caught. So Gerald starts tagging and bagging him, right? But then the parents show up and they're able to save Sarah. Danielle is nowhere to be seen, so Kyle goes over to Gerald's truck. Hello? Danielle? I recognize that moan anywhere. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? Uh, Gerald drives off with her, stops at his house, and then Danielle Grand Theft Auto's his shit. And oh look, Junior somehow knew where the bomb shelter was located and saved Claire, aka his mom. But then oh look, the truck breaks down, and now this is the climax. Junior! Get over here. Hurry! Junior! What? Were you guys able to follow that? Because unfortunately I did, and it was pretty bad. The guy with a double barrel shotgun and Twizzlers for legs catches up to their broken down truck and tells Junior to come over here. And for some reason he ignores the girls and sends off two warning shots. <laughs> which is essentially your entire clip because you have a double barrel shotgun, so now you have to reload. And he doesn't scoot up at all towards the people that can drive away that he can probably safely assume are unarmed. Instead, he's just hyper-focused on Junior. And I don't know if the movie's insinuating that Gerald isn't even aware that Junior's fixing the broken down truck. Regardless, the boy slams the hood, yells now, and Gerald still gives them time to throw it in reverse, gun it, and go what seems like 30 feet, even though he's right here. He's even near the edge of the truck, which gives him like a whole nine seconds to move out of the way. Then this shot makes no damn sense because look at how close he is to Junior. That's not even the truck's length. And just like this moron, they don't make sure he's dead. They even leave him the gun. Get in. Where we're going, we don't need toads. Fucking psychopath boss. Watching all those people. Hundreds of thousands of hours on those hard drives. How many houses does that guy have? Several. Ortiz, he had to break the news to the family over in Silver City. He said you should have seen the look on the mother's face when they pulled the spy cam out the kids' bedroom. Was her look something like this? And three of them houses, empty. Save for some cheap cots, chains, and soundproofing. My god. Do you think we could fit more exposition in this fucking last scene? Are you wearing camo pants? You couldn't afford a second pair of cop pants? That's where you cut the budget off? This veteran just brought his shit from home? Fuck. It's where they said they left him. I guess there's some good Samaritan stuff to help. So surprise, surprise, Gerald got away and moved to Mexico. Oye, ¿qué buscas? <laughs> Nada. ¿Qué traes ahí? Animales. If I told you at the beginning of this review that by the end of it, this villain would be on one crutch speaking Spanish in Mexico. Would you believe me? Cause you'd have to be pretty fucking stupid if you did. But here we are. 
Buckle up, ladies. Bird Box Challenge. That's the ending. That movie was pretty bad. And there's really not much else on this movie. Usually I try to dive into, you know, some of the behind the scenes or something like that, but there's not really any interviews, articles, podcasts. It's just kind of there. And also, if you're familiar with this movie, you probably already know this or have already commented it because you're an impatient douche. But funny enough, while reviewing the movie, I was watching it on Netflix. So when I was going to rewatch it, I typed in 14 cameras on Netflix, and there I saw it. Please tell me this is a coincidence. Nope. During my entire viewing experience of 14 cameras, I had no fucking idea that this movie was a sequel to 13 cameras. Yeah, I'm gonna assume I didn't miss much. But alas, I felt like I had to watch it, and I did. I did learn one thing, uh, this is where Claire is from. That's why this scene was supposed to matter. She was pregnant from her boyfriend in this movie and Junior was her kid. And that's really all you had to get from part one. Part one has almost nothing to do with this guy. The horror aspect is really brushed over in my opinion. The main stage is held by this couple and the cheating boyfriend. The movie is a drama with actors not made for drama. I was an hour in and granted the guy's involved but it's just him doing things from the secret spy camera's view. Kind of like this movie and it's not worse than the second part because this one actually has a story with the family he's watching in 14 cameras there was no fucking story what was the big b plot these two trying to fuck i didn't give a shit about that did you if you've watched all my reviews this may not seem true but i honestly think 14 cameras is the worst movie I've reviewed. If you watch my other reviews, I've probably yelled louder. I've probably gone on really long tangents about why the movie sucks. I've probably tore those films up, but I can't shake the thought that this is the worst film. American Poltergeist 2, garbage. A dime of this movie's budget, but I don't know. That one's at least so shit that it's funny to laugh at. I could get something out of that viewing experience. Phobia and Devil Incarnate, miles ahead of this movie. Lowriders, no googly Emmy would be ashamed. Code of Honor, Ouija, Cam, and The Hatred all sucked in their own special way, but this movie takes the cake like a regretful diabetic. Before I give my usual outro, let me quickly say this about my last review. Because it's been bothering me, and it might not matter, but I, I still want to address it. I feel like in my cam review, I started to emulate a film critic more than I wanted to. And that's not what this series is about. Hence the intro, I am not a film critic, I just like to pick movies apart. Whenever I speak on a movie, or movies in general, it's my opinion, and I really have no legitimate like knowledge of film to back it up. I know I probably come off condescending a lot, like I do know a lot of shit, but no, it's just how I feel. I don't want people to think I know more than I actually do. I just like to make fun of bad movies, nitpick, and get these jokes off. That is the core of my reviews. And I think in my cam review, I maybe came off as something more than that. The video is also doing very well on top of that, so I definitely wanted to address this. And like I said, I might be thinking too much into it. This really might not matter. But like, for example, when people compare me to a Ralph the Movie Maker or a YMS. I don't like those comparisons because although those are YouTubers that I thoroughly enjoy. I would never want to be put in the same category as them because that would belittle their extensive knowledge of film. Sure, they may nitpick and make jokes as well, but I don't believe that's the core of their content. So I do somewhat appreciate those comparisons, but I just want to clarify that I'm no one to look to for film advice. This is all my opinion. I'm a film Joe Schmo who can just make fun of a bad movie for half an hour. I don't know about cinematography. I don't know what's the right color palette. I don't know what's good lighting, what's bad lighting. That's not the point of these reviews, and it never should be. It should be what I set out for it to be. It's for the fans, and I want to keep it that way. If you enjoyed this movie review, please leave a like. It is the easiest way to support me. Subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my patrons for supporting the boy. If you're unaware, my Patreon is popping because for the second reward tier, you get an exclusive video every month voted on by you. For example, this past month, I discussed the South Carolina Toe Sucker. This program contains material that may be disturbing to some viewers. Also, shout out to my channel members. They're also getting that exclusive monthly video. Another thank you to Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring this video. And I'm not gonna forget this time. Shout out to Dragon Lolly Thing and Liddybug2020 for retweeting my last video tweet. And as always, I am Mr. GG, and I am out. Next level.